So welcome back. We're going to continue on with working with circumference in area circles. Again, as was said, um, it's the vocabulary. The radius of a circle is the segment that goes from the center of the circle to the circle itself. And we said the diameter was the segment that passes through the center of the circle and goes the total distance across the circle. That's the diameter. We also had some formulas that said um, the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter or circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. We also had a form for area. Area of a circle was pi r squared. Remember, circumference and area are not the same thing. The circumference was the distance around a circle. Meanwhile, the area was how many squares are inside the circle. A little bit different concept. And both of the formulas depend upon this uh, symbol pi. Again, pi typically is approximately 3.14, but on our calculators, our calculator actually has that symbol that we can work with. So we're going to use that. We also made a note that the radius, if I had two of the radii, two of the radii would actually create the diameter. So there's a relationship between the radius and the diameter. If you double the radius, that's the same thing as the diameter. Or if you take half of the diameter, that'll actually be your, your radius. So a lot of times we'll, we'll make a little note that the diameter is the same thing as 2 times the radius. So in our examples today, we want to find the circumference of each circle. Again, we want to use your calculator's value of pi, and we want to round your answers to the nearest 10. So in this example, we have the radius is 8 miles. And again, I can use either formula, but since this one involves the radius, I can say the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. So again, when we substitute in, we just have to replace then the 2 is OK, the pi is OK. But we're going to replace that radius with its actual value. So from here, I can put this into the calculator. But also note that this is just a multiplication. And I can go 2 times 8 and get 16 pi. And then I can let the calculator change 16 pi into a decimal for me. So I can input 16 pi into the calculator, hit enter. But the directions say round to the nearest tenth. So I actually got to use that little toggle button. That changes it to a decimal notation for me. So again, I'm going to have an approximation of a 50 point, uh, it looks like 2.6. 50.26. And since it says round to the nearest tenth, that's this place value here. So that's going to round to then um, 50 and um, three tenths. And since we're dealt with miles, we will use miles as our, our measurement there. So circumference is basically what we call a linear measurement. Area is when we use that square miles. So for this example, we have again the radius. So we can say the circumference is equal to um, two pi r. So we can then substitute 62 in for the radius. So 2 times uh, pi times then um, 62. And I can multiply 2 times 62 pretty easily. That would be, uh, what, 124? 124 pi. And again, I can enter the 124 pi into the calculator. And since the directions want this to the nearest tenth, I hit that little toggle button again. It'll change it into a decimal notation for me. So it's going to be uh, 389.55. And since it says round to the nearest tenth, that's going to be approximately 389.6. And since this is in kilometers, we would put our label of kilometers there. So there's a few examples of how to find the circumference of a circle. And what that represents is the distance around the circle would be 389.6 kilometers. So, stay tuned.